Emily, today Nebraska became the 49th state to offer school choice. But as Brian Mastery reports, the state's largest teachers union believes it will hurt children and plans to collect enough signatures to put the issue before voters next year. The big push for the Opportunity Scholarships Act came in January. The governor, along with a number of students, dressed up in the Capitol Rotunda to explain the virtues of giving parents the power of school choice. This is not about public versus private schools. It's about finding the best scenario for every child, for every family, for every situation. LB 753 sets aside $25 million for tax credits. So when someone donates to private school scholarships, they get a dollar for dollar tax break. The pool of dollars is expected to grow to 100 million in a few years. And we are actually celebrating public school on what they do and the success rate they've had with a number of kids. But also we're looking out for those kids that were not successful in that setting and what kind of options can we give them going forward to be the best version of themselves. Opponents argued that this bill, which will be signed by Governor Pillen, will gradually gut public school funding and raise questions about the separation of church and state. We're finding ourselves in a situation where I do believe we're running afoul of the constitutional provision that says we're not allowed to give public funds to private schools. Others question whether the Opportunity Scholarships Act will really benefit low-income families. This is a much more generous tax break for a particular type of charitable giving to specifically scholarship granting organizations than any kind of tax treatment that we see for other forms of charitable giving in the state. Senator Luann Linehan of Elkhorn has been pushing for school choice for seven years. She finally got it over the finish line. There are only four counties in the state of Nebraska, four, that don't have children in private school. So when we say there's no options out in rural Nebraska, that's just not true. On your side in Omaha, Brian Mastry, 6 News. Support Our Schools Nebraska will soon launch the petition drive with the idea of getting voters to repeal the Opportunity Leaderships Act, which organizers believe will weaken the state's public schools. Bond.